Hey folks, Franklin Media and TV. I want to bring you this concerning article um, from Sign of the Times. Is Beijing uh, working on a currency devaluation of the U.S. dollar? It's possible, according to this article. Apparently China is in a gold buying spree. Um, so along with Russia, and that's one country that's decided it's no longer wants to be part of the U.S. dollar. Uh, and Russia has been dumping dollars and buying gold at the fastest pace in decades. Uh, but, you know, while Moscow's appetite for gold, which has doubled Russia's international gold reserves over the past three years, uh, remains unparalleled to other countries, Beijing's quietly been joining Russia and casting smaller, if uh, just as material, vote, no confidence in the dollar. Uh, overnight, the PBOC reported the world's second largest economy, China, added to its gold reserves for the fourth straight month. Uh, adding to re recent speculation that central ba banks globally uh, are going to continue to build holdings as they dispose of the U.S. dollar reserves. And according to the latest Chinese reserve data, the country's gold reserves rose from 60.62 million ounces in March to 60.26 million a month earlier. And that's the fourth consecutive month of gold increases. Last month's inflow was 11.2 tons, following the addition of 9.95 tons in February, 11.8 tons in January, and 9.9 .9 tons in December. And according to this chart below that I'm pointing to here, guys, um, this recent buying spree resumed after a 25 month hiatus. So China stopped essentially reporting gold purchases in October 2016. And they've been keeping quiet about it up until essentially. You know, late 2018, early 2019, when China just started announcing again that it's accumulating gold. So, why are they doing this? Why has China gone for long periods of time without revealing increases in its gold holdings uh, and then suddenly start reporting again? It's not a matter of transparency. Uh, we all know that. Uh, China's not really big on that. But it, what it does do is it send a clear political signal that uh, it's losing faith in the dollar and setting to its gold reserves instead. Uh, so does Russia and China have a plan to at once devalue the dollar and send the U.S. into an economic collapse? According to these charts, it's possible. They could be accumulating gold. Uh, they're working in conjunction with each other. And they're going to just dump all their dollars at once and send the dollar plunging. This is something we have to think about, guys. Um, I looked at the cost of gold. It rose about $100 an ounce in like a month and a half. It could it be because of this, all this accumulation? Very possible. Uh, we all know that in order for them to be the number one player in the world, they have to debuckle the U.S. dollar. That's everything that's traded on. All oil is essentially traded on the dollar. If they can stop that, then, well, it's not going to be good for us. I'm going to tell you guys now, start preparing. If all your holdings are in the dollar, I would suggest diversifying. Buy some precious metals. Maybe buy some euros. Some Canadian dollars. Um, move things around a little bit. But this is very important. It's very alarming. And I wanted to bring it to you guys. I'm going to keep an eye on this. I'm going to bring you updates as they come across my desk, but I did want to thank you for watching. I want you to look at this yourselves, do some research, and...
please prepare. Thanks.